Now back on the barnstorming tour, we open the Missouri high school football season on Friday and no team will look more radically altered than Clark County with 20 new starters in the lineup against North Shelby and Matt Smith knows his team has much to prove after graduating a virtual all state team or all star team, if you will, from 2005. It's a great group of kids. You know, they accomplished a lot of things here and, and certainly sad to see them go. But, uh, you know, we feel like we've got uh, a lot of kids have had success playing at the lower levels that, you know, it's their turn now. And, and uh, you know, a lot of opportunity for those guys to step up and, and become players at the varsity level. And that's what we're uh, working toward. Holdover talent may be at a premium in Cahoka this fall, but what little does return is of premium quality. The Indians' lone returning starters are a pair of fantastic bookend linebackers in Brad Farrell and Kalem Lipper. You know, uh, Brad and Kalem are both, uh, you know, returning all-conference players. Uh, you know, Kalem is an all-district player and, and really, uh, you know, a big playmaking linebacker, uh, a kid that really uh, covers a lot of ground, is in rangy, and, and does a lot of good things. And, and that's where we'll start on defense. Um, and those two kids, uh, you know, be, be uh, leaders for us on that side of the ball and hopefully set the tone. The fact that Clark County doesn't bring back a single offensive holdover is a little deceiving. Brock Egley may be a rookie quarterback, but he got plenty of passing experience at the varsity level as an option specialist. So we feel like we have two kids coming back that, that do have, even though they weren't starters, do have you know significant experience. And, and it starts with Brock at quarterback. Uh, he was a kid that, you know, so multi-dimensional last year as a junior, we were able to use him as a receiver, uh, at quarterback uh, at some time. Uh, and then also as a running back and, and with him going to quarterback full time this year, uh, you know, he'll hopefully be a multidimensional kid that can run and throw and do a lot of things. Uh, we also have a kid named Carrington Daniel who got some time last year as the season uh, wore on, especially in the districts and, and played big in, in our playoff game with Centralia last year. And uh, you know, we feel like he'll be a nice target for us uh, and a playmaker as well as a receiver. Well, different expectations, I think, externally for this program than last year. Is that a good place to be, different place to be? Well, you know, we can't control, you know, the external stuff, but we can just control the internal stuff. And, uh, you know, our kids expect to be successful. They expect to go out and compete on Friday nights. Um, you know, this is a group, like I said, that has had success at the lower levels. And I think probably the one and Anomaly this year is just you're, you're taking not just five or six kids and making them make the transition to Friday night. You're taking a whole group of kids, really. And, uh, you know, if, uh, to me, I think talent is there. I think we have some ability and some kids can make plays. We just have to have the whole group be able to transition uh, from the speed of the game on Monday to the speed of the game on Friday to be successful. 